All right, just got off work. Let's see what's on the PlayStation YouTube. All right, let's catch up on this. What's street speed up to today? Two guys and 11, 1100 wheel horsepower Hellcat? Oh, we got to watch this. Man, 1100 horsepower. He's got to have a Whipple or a Kenny Bell, some type of extra suit. I wonder what Hellcat this is. <laughs> Forward to the 720 versus the 1,000 horsepower Hellcat. 1,000 horsepower? Corey's car makes 1,080, 1080 wheel horsepower. Hold the fuck up. Corey's car makes 1,080 rear wheel horsepower? I, there's no way, I gotta hear that again. The 1,000 horsepower Hellcat. So, uh, Corey's car makes 1,080, 1080 wheel horsepower. He's making 1,080 rear wheel horsepower. He's got to have nitrous. He's got to have a different supercharger. There's no way that's a stock supercharger. He, I hope he's got some like 305 Mickey Thompsons on the back at least. You probably need to do a 15 inch conversion to have all that power. Cause I have a 15 inch conversion and I'm still spinning. I, I got to see how this works out. He should smoke the 720. They only make like six something to the wheels. He's making almost double. I got to watch this shit. All right, what's up everybody? Kevin Van Voorhis here for another video for you guys today. So, oh my goodness, where do I begin? Um, I understand clickbait, I get it, I've done it, sometimes I do it, but damn, that's not even close. 1100 rear wheel horsepower on a Hellcat Challenger with a stock blower is, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but it is damn near close to impossible. I've watched some of Tall Guy Carvey's videos, not all of them, because he's got like a thousand of them, um, but I was watching the new Street Speed 717 video just now, as you guys saw, and it said 1100 rear wheel horsepower. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, there's a difference between crank horsepower which is basically just the engine, how much the engine makes, versus putting it through the actual drive train, all the way through the drive shaft, into the rear wheels. There's two different ones, right? So for example, we have the Demon here, right? My Demon. With race gas, it makes 840 crank horsepower. Realistically, I've seen Demonology um, dyno his, and I think with race gas, he was getting like 770, 780. Same with mush, 760, 770, 770 or 780. That's kind of what it was. That's rear wheel horsepower to the wheels. That's how much power is going to the ground. So Corey from Tall Guy Car Views said <laughs> that his car makes 1,080 rear wheel horsepower. Now... <clears throat> I'm only making this video because me being a demon and a Hellcat owner, I'm tired of other Hellcat owners making the rest of us look bad. And it's no offense to Corey from Tall Guy Car Views. There's plenty of people who do it. People online who race people who have no idea. It's like the people who roll race their demons on the freeway against cars they have no business racing <clears throat> because this car only makes 760 rear wheel horsepower. It's not that much. It's the technology that is able to put all that power to the ground. That's why this car is so fast at the drag strip, right? Um, and I'll give you an example. My brother's car, right? This is a Challenger Hellcat. This is one of the fastest Challenger Hellcats out right now. I would say he's probably in the top 10 to 15 Challenger Hellcats probably in the world, I, I would say. Um, his fastest time in shitty DA, if you guys don't know what that is, is density altitude, you can Google it. He ran a 9.5. He's not making nowhere near 1,100 rear wheel horsepower. He's probably making maybe 900, <laughs> maybe 900. 
Um, and my brother only has a 265 upper pulley. He's got a lower pulley, E85, and fuel pump, 15 inch conversion on the front, 15 inch conversion on the rear, an ice box. That's really it, nothing crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure Corey is still on pump gas, which you really can't make more than 800 safely on the stock pumps on 93. You just can't do it. So unless Corey has changed out his pumps, which I haven't seen a video on that, and I believe he just has an upper and lower pulley, the last time I saw his car dyno <clears throat> was 770 rear wheel horsepower. Now, the guy who was tuning his car was claiming he was getting wheel spin on the dyno, and no offense to that guy, but there's no way. <laughs> I dynoed my Charger Hellcat um, a while ago when I had the 285 pulley on it, and I made 840, and now I have a 275 on it, and I got no wheel spin. So not really sure how that works. But what I wanted to talk about today is basically <laughs> the difference between actual horsepower that goes down to the wheels, which actually matters versus a lot of people. And there's tons of people who have Hellcats. It's not just Corey. There are tons of people who have Hellcats who say, yeah, I make a thousand horsepower. No, no, you don't you make like 805, 800, 830, maybe. And it's really frustrating when people say, oh, I make a thousand wheel horsepower. If you made a thousand wheel horsepower, you would be spinning the shit out of everything. You know, we have these type of tires on our cars right now. These are 50, 15 inch Mickey Thompson um, <clears throat> ET Street Pros, radial pros. And you know, you're on the street and you're still gonna spin. I mean, you're talking, that's a shitload of power. Some of the fastest Hellcats in the world <laughs> are making that much power. You know what I mean? You don't need, <laughs> you don't need that much. And with Corey's mods, he's not making that much. And I want to clear that up, because if you go in the comment section, you have people who know nothing about cars, and you have people who know a decent amount about cars. And there's people who are like, dude, your car makes 770, maybe 800. It, nowhere near close. To be honest, no one gives a fuck about crank horsepower. It literally makes no, it doesn't matter. Like, who gives a shit? If you make a thousand crank horsepower, it's the amount of horsepower you can actually put to the ground because when you're racing somebody, that's actually what matters. So realistically, his car probably has as much horsepower as my demon, my stock demon. That's probably what it is. So I want to clear some things up because it's really frustrating to me when I watch videos and I see Hellcats just get smoked by cars, which I know for damn well they don't have a thousand horsepower. And I get it. You know, people do it for clicks or whatever. That's just how YouTube is. I understand that. I'm a YouTuber myself, so I totally understand how that works. However, it's just really frustrating when you see cars on like 1320 or on the street racing channels or anything like that. And it's like every Hellcat has a thousand horsepower. When in reality, they probably got 750 or 800. Because David's car is one of the fastest Hellcats out. <laughs> And he has barely any mods, and he's maybe, maybe, and then this is a huge maybe, making 900. Maybe. He's only on 16 PSI because we're in shitty DA. Now, if we were in Chicago, we're up north in Pittsburgh, PA, whatever, where we were in at elevation, like we're at 3,500 feet, our cars would be making about 21 PSI. So we'd be making actually more horsepower up there. So... For example, when Livernoy dynoed my charger, it made about 40 more horsepower up there than it did down here. So, <sighs> anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Again, this video is not hating on Corey. It's just, dude, you got to represent the Hellcat people better than, <laughs> better than that. And I know it's to get views and all that stuff, but... You know, you might not know everything about Hellcats, which is fine, but just, you gotta represent the community just a little, a little better. You know, <clears throat> you racing a 720S that makes like six something, I'm pretty sure they're all wheel drive, maybe not, but it makes six something to the wheels and it weighs nothing versus a car that your car, 
because you haven't done any weight reduction, probably weighs 44, 4,500 pounds with two guys in it, easily 4,500 pounds. And it's only making maybe 770, 800 tops. Yeah, it's not gonna be that fast against a 720S. Now, you take David's car, he would smoke the shit out of that 720S. You take my charger, I'd smoke the shit out of that 720S. And I wish I was closer because I would love, 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 love to go and get Street Speed 717 and show him what actual Hellcats that have actual mods and actual drivers can do. That's what I would love to do. So one of these days we'll get invited to the street, to the call out. We're gonna go and we're gonna show, we're gonna show up, we're gonna represent Dodge and the Hellcat crew, Hellcats, like we should, you know? So <clears throat> there's not, not a lot of people have Hellcats, you know, and you gotta represent yourself Accordingly, everybody thinks, oh, they're so heavy, they're slow, blah, blah, blah. And then you show up to the racetrack, and no one fucking beats you. You got David's car, which is stupid fast. I mean, ridiculous. And uh, he still, <laughs> he still is, yeah, I think his car is capable of like a 9.2, maybe even a 9.1 in really good DA, maybe, maybe negative DA, you know? So anyways, I want to make a quick video for you guys today, which is probably long now. <sighs> but let me know what you guys think. You know, do you like when cars are like, hey, I got a thousand crank horsepower or a thousand wheel horsepower? There's a huge, huge difference, especially with rear wheel drive cars because of how much drivetrain loss there is from the engine all the way to the rear wheels. Huge, huge difference. So do you care if someone says, I make a thousand crank or a thousand rear wheel? You know, what do you think about the video? I know most of you guys have probably seen it and, uh, I've been getting DMs and questions, and me and David talked about it, and I'm just like, dude, it, it's so frustrating. And I like Corey. I watch his channel. I'm supportive of him. But it's just like, dude, you got to represent the Hellcats better than that, man. I know you want views and stuff, but bro, come on now. You know, be serious about how much horsepower you make. And if your tuner told you you make 1,100 rear wheel horsepower, you need to get away from him. You know, use HHP, Livernoy, or Tim Barth, because Tim Barth is the best you know i use livernoy very good people um but tim barth tunes david's car he's a madman he has the fastest demon out right now and he's going to keep getting faster and faster and faster so anyways my name is kevin van Voorst. thank you guys for watching today's video let me know what you think in the comments below again this video is not hating on Corey or street suite 717 or anything like that but dude you got to represent dodge and the hellcats a little better <laughs> And you got to show up and show out. You know, when we go race people, whether it's in Mexico or whether it's at the drag strip, we try and represent the Hellcats accordingly because everybody's always like, they're too heavy, they're too slow, blah, 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 blah. And then when they're in your rear view, it doesn't matter. So anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. And actually, I'll put a couple videos of David's car and the Charger at the end so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anyways, my name is Kevin Van Voorst. Make sure you guys are following me at Kelly Boy Kev on Instagram and on Snapchat. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'm out this bitch.